Hi everyone, so welcome to Investing for Value. So I've got another stock on a mine today and it's Aqua Bounty. Um, so it's going by the ticker symbol AQB. Um, and the price currently is a $1.94, market valuation $42 million. Um, and it's currently trying to raise $10 million to build its um, salmon farms and then just grow it, grow it as it goes. Um, they're kind of thinking that do about 160 tons this year considering they're not really producing right now uh, but they think in the second half of 2020 they think they can start getting some production going and by next year they're going to try to accelerate production um, so this company you know you can't really evaluate too much on financial metrics most of it is um, on the current technologies where they've proven that they can breed salmon in a certain breed that just grows um, much quicker than the average salmon that these guys think their financials can be as much as 30 to 50 percent higher than the average salmon farmer um, so when they look at that advantage they think they can get similar pricing but they can just like grow their salmon quicker sell it sell more of it and just you know for the same amount of land on your on your salmon farm you're going to get a lot more out there um, so you manage to put your push your output which isn't too bad um, we do have to see them execute so like this company has you know a good you know many decades of history so you got you kind of have to go all of a sudden these guys are accelerating what they're doing and they're trying to get into a massive massive production like their 10 year aim is 55,000 tons which is you know quite substantial considering they have you know just looking at about 160 this year so but if they ever get there um, this is a, you know this, this going you know by their by their kind of pricing what they think they can get they think they get about seven dollars sixty a kg for their salmon in terms of a wholesale price um, and if they were to um, at 55,000 tons you'd be looking at about a 1.5 to 2 billion market valuation though we have to calculate that there's going to be a lot of dilution um, so at 42 million they're already raising 10 million so that's close to a 20% dilution um, and then when they want to build their larger farms which they think they need about four to five of those really really large farms those farms are going to cost 75 to 100 million dollars so i don't think these guys are going to earn a lot of money from like their current production they, they might be able to accelerate it um and then, you know like if they can't like even on based on this year they're going to earn a few million in profit which isn't too bad assuming it, our research and development costs don't overrun things um but i do see this company being a fairly profitable one next year um, I can't say for certain about this year, but I think next year these guys will be profitable. Valuations not too bad. Like I'd only buy into this company if you had the time. If you had like a couple of years or longer, um, then you can really like you know let this company just do its own work and then just build its value as it goes. Um, like forty-two million dollars for a company that could be producing you know tens of millions of dollars in profits in the next two three years um, it's not bad assuming you know they haven't diluted the market valuation like they haven't diluted the current shares by too much by that by that time um, so it's yeah like because currently they're raising ten million dollars and we're looking that in the future they need to raise uh, one to two hundred million as they go just to build their you know larger farms which isn't too bad because you know they are building more value if they're able to build these farms and with this major production goal in mind I think there's upside for investors um, that buy into it though I think if you buy into it you better be prepared for a very volatile ride um, unless you just don't look at the stock and you've got this a lot of confidence in what they're doing um, like they seem to be you know they seem to have gotten their technology right the salmon are as they say um growing way ahead of time um than they, even they predicted so they, they've proven their salmon grows quicker um at the salmon eats less um so they save in costs of feed 
um, they get their fish to market quicker and they get some pretty good pricing about it so in, in a sense like what you know like there's, these are ambitious goals and you know like it's you can kind of like look at it and just go like it kind of reminds you a bit like Tesla ambitious goals but the thing is when you've got ambitious goals you, you're you know trying to scale production um, there's always going to be delays so I think some you know the 10 year target might be pushed to like 12 or the 15 year target I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily count on the 10 year target though if they can get there um, it's pretty good um, but uh, mind you they will raise a lot of money I do see an upside I can't tell you how much of an upside you as an investor will get but if they get to here this is going to be a good billion dollar company um, but by then they might have diluted it quite a lot so you can't just go if I buy it at 42 million right now um, what's my upside so your upside could be about you know 500 to a thousand percent if you hold in 10 years um, if you wait till next year you know your upsides possibly around about 30 to 50 percent which wouldn't be too bad um, that's including dilutions so I'd say like if you've got the time then it's worth buying into if you don't feel like holding or you can't handle volatility particularly with a company that's not making revenues and there's a lot of risk involved so this is this is like a medium to high type risk company just because they're trying to build scale so quickly um, and there's a lot of regulatory conditions around what they're going to do not to mention like if you run salmon farms and you know global warming is happening climate kind of goes up climate only has to go up by you know in some places just by a little bit and then the salmon just die of heat so um, that's the kind of risk you you look at but of course you know I imagine the guys doing it chose some really good sites the climate conditions aren't going to necessarily affect them um, and then, you know you hope it's smooth sailing I would say like reg regardless of that you're buying at a very low valuation so 42 million is and in the scheme of things pretty low and you you've got by by far an upside I couldn't say like how much of an upside entirely because we just don't know what's going to happen with this company what kind of delays are going to happen um, how much money they're going to necessarily need to burn to be able to get to where they want to be um, so I do expect them to be burning and raising a lot of money so like this is a company that we can just like look at clearly because there's not a lot of financial data to go on um, it has to be about uh, the belief in the technology, the belief in the people um, and just the belief that they can execute um, and that's a bit like Tesla, you kind of believe that Elon Musk would execute on his um, what, his plans and what he would do what he said he was going to do and you'd hope these guys are just pretty similar like um, yeah I think for me I think this, this is an interesting company um, it's definitely it's definitely got a decent upside like if you like the product you like the company but for me it's yeah like it, it's very it's a very long hold with a bit of uncertainty in there I think there's certainly companies with a bit more certainty in what they do like companies that produce revenue they have products they've got growth rates you can go a bit by uh, whereas these guys they haven't really produced much of the salmon um, and they're looking to like really scale as they go which is kind of something that could get pretty tough um, and they're going to probably burn quite a lot of money so if you I'd say like it's not too bad like if you just buy if you just make it a small allocation of your portfolio um, this isn't something you want to just go too deeply into because like mind you this this stock used to trade at a two dollars fifty share price um, it's since kind of fallen and you never know like if there's a delay they have to raise more money the stock might fall even a bit more um, but I think if you can hold till next year um, then you, you, you're bound to see some upside it's just this year when they're getting into production um, there's just a lot of things they're going to be going through 
and you know things might necessarily not look as rosy for this year um, but I think if you buy with the intention to hold to next year then there's definitely an upside next year I wouldn't say because next year is when they really start scaling up and that's when they've actually proven the product um, it's a bit like Tesla you know they're creating cars and then until they've proven that they can scale production um, and your car is going to be built in a high quality way um, that you know that you know that trust in the company isn't there yet the real you know the proof isn't in the pudding and for this company I'd say like buy some wait till they get into production and then see how they've actually executed um, and then if they've executed flawlessly then I think the company has proven themselves to be a really good company but if there's a lot of flaws coming in and out, um, trying to get to this $55,000 uh, 55, ton target, um, it's going to be very, you know, it's going to be, you know, it means there's likely to be more errors and flaws coming in. So I'd say it's an interesting company. I do, I, I do like how these guys are trying to look at the future and go, you know, in the future, as with a growing population, you need more food. So we want to produce more food. And then we want to just, you know, be, be there as one of the big global players in the future. Um, and their aim is that they're going to be based in the US. So um, country companies that need the product, uh, you know, basically fresh. They are, this company is basically there selling them nice fresh salmon locally, which, is, which isn't a bad thing. So, you know, let me know what you you think about this company. Um, I certainly found it quite interesting, though um, I, I could say a lot about the financials, but at the end of the day, until they start getting things onto the board, um, diving too deeply doesn't necessarily add that much value. You just have to go, um, how, how good are the people at executing? How much finances are they burning through? Um, and then can they make a profit and currently you know like things are just a bit uncertain to really say a lot about this company so until then I mean I'll track this company as I go and if, if anything substantial changes then I'll make another video and do an update I guess but until then you know saying too much and uh, other than you know these guys look like they're onto something good, their value isn't too high, um, they're raising some money, so, you know, it depends, like, the valuation-wise, um, it's low, but, yeah, it could, but they're, they're constantly trying to raise a bit more money, so you just have to watch that these guys aren't burning money too quickly, and that they can actually start scaling their production, so, like, my confidence comes in this company once they get past this 106 um, you know, about 160 tons, you know, which, you know, I think they're, they've got a nice chart next year that they might scale to like a thousand and then into three more years time, they want to scale, scale to like three, four thousand tons. Um, so there's 55,000 tons, you know, it comes right at the end when they've got a lot of resources that they can just significantly scale. Um, based on you know what they've been able to execute I guess um, but yeah should be interesting though but until then good luck investing everyone